Good morning to everyone. Uh, I'm Ranjit Tripathi from Asia and Confederation of Credit Unions. Today we're going to have a session about a comparison of the savings and credit cooperative uh, with the banks, NGO, and microfinance institution. Why this session today? I think it's very important today to see every single cooperative how we are along with our original mission statement. Uh, due to this COVID-19, almost every countries around the world, people have suffering for not only the mental and physical because they have difficult to find the basic uh, food because they have lost the job and they could not uh, open their business and salaries. And during this period, government and other NGOs and cooperatives are providing uh, a very good uh, subsidy handout. We appreciated your initiative. At the same time, we like to uh, rethink again why it's happened. Financial cooperative has been there more than 100 years, 200 years working and within your community, 10 years, 5 years. Why we could not educate our members to build their own safety fund? Why we could not able to literate our members on financial independence? I think the one a week ago, I released the one session about the financial literacy, which is along with that. But that's at individual level. But I like to focus in the leadership and management level. Uh, let's see, rethink our original mission of the financial cooperative, because you are the key people. So rather we are imitating at the banking institution and microfinance institution what is the existence of the our financial cooperative let's see this is uh, mr william rapations credit union must not confine themselves to granting loan their main objective should be to control the use of money to improve the moral and physical value of the people and they will act by themselves. I hope this statement, everyone knows about that. But our most of the higher level uh, leadership, the chairman, board of directors and managers level, how do you deliver this message how the, your members will be able to control use of money to improve the moral and physical value of the people. If we able to educate and to motivate the people to control their money and use of their money to improve moral and physical value, I believe during the COVID-19, uh, there will be a no any difficult time for the people to manage in day-to-day -day basic food. Of course, we have a difficult time, but basic things, food, is not going to issue. I think we like to do some assessment about a, a four institution and see how we should differ or differentiate from other financial institutions. There is a statement saying, the connection between poverty and dependency is true. So we have to overcome dependency from our community. Dependency is, uh, look at uh, here, uh, in order to fight the poverty, should fight dependency first. I think this is a basic thing we need to look at our self-help. Self-help people need to understand how to increase your value of the self-help. Build yourself and then you're able to build the uh, uh, coordinations 
and that uh, help each other. The, I think more important, credit unions should train our members to help themselves. There are four institutions, all the four institutions, basically NGOs also in all the financial business, market finance institution and the banks and financial cooperative, which is so-called credit union. I will go, there are 24 points. Uh, let's see each point I like to, to focus the value of the cooperative, which able to you to rethink that the purpose. Okay organized by the community in the people so that's what i said the credit union owned by the community community enterprise i would prefer to put use that word everybody participate the business uh, banks are business organization uh, registered and ngo is it organized by the community but currently it's not really uh, owned by the community people. Now the NGOs, there are kind of the elite group and they also have a connection with the, uh, some uh, agency and then they are coming with the charity mind. It's rather uh, developing the people, rather empowering the people. Uh, they also create a dependency. Sorry if I'm hurting to anyone. Uh, microfinance institution emerging organization and organized by the now originally it was an NGO driven MFI. Now I prefer to use the uh, investors. Uh, it may be NGO investors and other in investors. So they are doing. This is how it's categorized. Let's go to number two accessibility. So credit unions for everyone every poor people should be focused in the community level the banks is not very much focused on the poor people may not able to access it because it's far away from the community and it's also costs for the uh, uh, cost to the uh, members to go to there it's needed and infrastructure is quite far away from them uh, NGO is a specific group, everyone is able to access, but uh, depends on the focus group, depends on the, uh, the program. And we look at in the microfinance institutions, it is a specific market, depends on the, their, uh, their program. So it is has to look at uh, what is the either go to the marginalized poor near poor the poorest among poor i think depends on the basically i feel that a near poor is that the mfi market uh credit unions uh, the purpose is to help the people to help themselves you can see the very important part we do the financial transaction but the purpose is to help the people to help themselves and uh, go to the banks is operate as a basic financial transaction and NGOs is also to help the people and charity basis but uh, I feel that the NGO should be able to focus on empowering the people not rather uh, spoon feeding and uh, MFI also to the purpose is to help the people, but uh, we see they also approach is so much uh, dependency, smaller loans, bigger loan, bigger loan, bigger loan, bigger loan. I think there is no much focus on build the people well, so it's also create a dependency. This is my views. Uh, if you are not agree, please send me any comment. The credit union financial cooperative met the local community needs is very specifically is very important and the banks match for the business sector needs and NGO social sector and of course microfinance institution also look the financial needs uh, of the community so that is uh, very clearly it's a mix but it's a financial needs so the, they don't go much beyond that and let's start to the help with the social development yes credit union how the part of our financial business it build the social capital human capital of the community 
and the banks always develop the financial sector and NGO help the social development program and microfinance institution uh, develop the financial sector. I think this will be a background for me to understand. Uh, I, I feel that all the four sector is complementary each other. Uh, at the same time, they have uh, their own roots. I think that's what we need to understand. Corporate society, the main business, core business financial services.